Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you came to join me again today. Uh, my name is Christy Waite. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Michigan. And today we are going to be making this cute little pumpkin sucker treat. Um, I participate in a couple different craft fairs uh, in the fall. And this will definitely be one of those items that will be at my craft sale table. So when I started, I um, I made this one and I put a little Hershey Kiss in the inside. Um, and that was because um, my hole, my center hole, I punched a three quarter inch circle. So um, for the sucker, it ended up being a one inch circle. So let's get started. I'll give you some tips along the way. Um, what I found worked the best for me was, let's see here, if I were to stamp all my pumpkins, get them all going in the right direction, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of pumpkin pie cardstock. And if I were to um, just stamp, this is uh, just a scrap white, uh, but if I were to stamp my pumpkins uh, like this without cutting that apart, then I will show you what's gonna happen. You go like this to punch out your pumpkin and then in between here, you can see that I'm cutting into there because there's a little stem and a little leaf. So I found that this was my best bet. Let me tell you what stamp set we're using. We're using the Harvest Hellos stamp set. I am borrowing it from my friend Sue. And we're using <clears throat> the pumpkin, the pumpkin stamp. And then uh, it has a punch to go with. This is the punch. It's called Apple Pumpkin Builder. And um, here we have, you could make an apple. Here's a half apple. Um, here you could make it a jack-o'-lantern. There's some seeds for your um, pumpkin or even for your apple. Um, just a great set for your teacher or some fall cards, maybe for Halloween for your grandkids. So anyways, let's get started. What I did, as I said, I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of pumpkin pie, and then I cut them in strips. Um, the equal amount is um, two and one eighth inch. So if I cut my strips at two and one eighth inch each time, I don't waste a single bit. So what I found worked the best for me is we're going to just line that up and punch. So now as I got down here and I punched this last one, then I'd go here and it was like, oh, I, it's hard to hang on to. So I ended up turning my stamp over and stamping one pumpkin the opposite direction. And therefore it was easier to hold on to. So I have a bunch more already punched out. So I'll set these aside. And I'm gonna pull in my one inch circle punch. So basically for um, okay, so for this one here that I have already got the ribbon on, um, that took eight pumpkins. But I found that it was a little bit hard to uh, fit that, that sucker in there. And so I did this one, and this one has ten. <clears throat> this one with the Hershey Kisses, I think I ended up with nine trying to get that little... Um, sweet candy in there. All right, so this, we're gonna go ahead and punch some circles. Now I am just guessing at the middle. And if I don't like it, I can, I can um, stamp another one. But we're just gonna do a bunch of those. Let's see, we're gonna do 10 of those. So there's three. And 
and some of the pumpkins, let's see if I can find one. No, well, I'm sure I'll find one as I go. Had a little bit of a, a smudge in the middle. So here's the stamp. So sometimes when you ink up your stamp, sometimes you'll get ink in here and it was transferring over to my, to my pumpkin on paper. Um, but I didn't feel like I had to worry about that because I'm punching that middle section out anyways. So for this situation, it really didn't matter. All right, let's see. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. One more. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to say that this is not my original idea. I saw this originally, uh, not this exact one. Um, this is on a site from, her name is Judy, and she used um, a circle die and an oval die to create her pumpkin. So therefore she would cut the circle or the oval and then the circle and the inside. And I think she only used like six of them because they were much larger. And then she was able to fit a, a full um, Tootsie Roll pop in there. And my mother used to love those. She used to always pick the chocolate ones. So I guess that's why I would pick the chocolate ones too. All right, so what I'm doing is I, after I've got the holes punched in the inside, I'm going to fold them together with the right sides together. So it's just a little... A little work to do but it's definitely not hard it just takes time I guess you have to decide um, if it's worth your time and I think it's definitely worth my time I am very blessed to not have to have a job outside the home <clears throat> and so I can work on my Stampin' Up! all the time if I want so now I'm gonna take my um, my liquid glue, my, um, what do they call it? Multi-purpose glue in the catalog. I'm just putting glue on one side. And then I got to make sure I line this up correctly. And we're gonna sandwich them together. And I wanna make sure that my folds meet nicely. Wrong side. Let's see here. <clears throat> this way. There we go. That was three. Oh, my glue is getting really low. can see that my circles were not punched totally even but that's okay it doesn't really matter okay here's my fifth one I'm just gonna set that one aside and I'm gonna start building the other half I know that at craft sales um, people like those very inexpensive, quick little gifts. And I think this would be a lot of fun to have um, at your Thanksgiving table. And the kids love suckers, don't they? I would dare say a lot of adults like them too. All right, we're getting close. That's four. And five. You would definitely want to use the multi-purpose glue because you have a little wiggle room in there to make sure that you get them even. Okay, so now I got two halves. And I'm just gonna put, put one side of this on like this. And then I'm going to come in with my sucker. Well, I want to make sure that stays good. 
Okay, so what I did with my sucker is I grabbed my um, Early Espresso Stampin' Write Marker <clears throat> and a little mat so I didn't have to get my paper all. And I just did like this. And then I colored the tip. And so now we have our pumpkin stem. Okay, now I gotta find my inside here. I'm just gonna tuck my Dum Dum Sucker. Such a silly name, but anyways, it's a Dum Dum Sucker size. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna manipulate my pumpkin pieces around it so they're even. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some more glue. There we go. And we're gonna attach that. There, now I've got, squeeze those in. There we go. Now the ribbon I'm using is our Call Me Clover. It is Call Me Clover color. And it is a 1 8 inch grow grain ribbon. Call Me Clover is one of our in colors for this year. Um, our in colors stay for two years. So I'm thankful for that. And then that way we end up having two sets of in colors. Um, one retires one year and then the next year the next one retires. So I'm just gonna tie that nice and tight around the base. I used about 10, 10 inches, nine and a half, 10 inches. Um, only because you have to have enough so that you can work with it with your fingers. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Alrighty, we're just going to tie that into a bow. Now I did the ribbon instead of doing like paper leaves and stuff like that because that was, um, I thought, quicker and easier. Um, and I liked the look of the ribbon on there. I like that Call Me Clover color. It covers up um, some of that sucker wrapper. Doesn't want to lay quite the way I want it to lay right there. I'll work with that. And then I'll come in with my, I have a, a scissors that's de designated for ribbon. And I'm gonna use that. Now isn't that cute? Cute, cute, and quick and easy, except there is a lot of stamping and punching ahead of time. And I thank my friend Sue for letting me borrow her stamp set and uh, making these items for our craft sale. Uh, and I'm glad that you joined me today. Please jump over to my, uh, my blog here at christycreativecrew.blogspot.com. I am running um, specials each and every month. This is the hostess code if you choose to place an order. I am always trying to earn that incentive trip, working super, super hard, doing lots and lots of classes. Um, if you live in my area, I would love to have you join me. Um, and all that information is on my blog, everything you need to know. I will be posting this video on uh, Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday, what would that be? Um, October. I don't know. Don't have my calendar. Next week, Tuesday. And uh, and you can check out all the dimensions and everything that I mentioned there, items that I use, and links to shop with me. And I would be so appreciative. I'll even give you a link to uh, this Judy's um, blog so that you can check hers out as well to see the difference between the two. And I thank her for the inspiration for this cute treat. Um, have a blessed day, and I hope you come back again soon. Bye-bye.